increasing and better managing the voluntary return of migrants. This is the aim of the Commission's strategy proposed Tuesday, as the institution admits that this particular aspect of its migration policy is a failure. To this week's, uh, college. It is not a secret that the European Union did not do particularly well on returns so far. Uh, in 2019, about half a million people had received return orders and only 142,000 uh, were actually returned. That means that we're managing uh, roughly the one-third of uh, those who should leave. The Commission is proposing to cooperate more with partner countries like Turkey with the intention of appointing a coordinator in charge of returning migrants. Frontex, the EU's border agency, will also get a new mandate to deal with these returns. But for the European Council on Refugees and Exiles, the announcement is particularly worrying. In relation to Frontex. That comes at a time where Frontex is facing investigations and scrutiny due to allegations of violations that it has witnessed or has been involved in. So it's very risky to give additional roles to Frontex, particularly in third countries, where Frontex operations tend to be quite opaque and where there is a risk that Frontex runs a sort of parallel foreign policy. The organisation also says that voluntary returns are preferable to forced returns, but the Commission points out that this solution requires fewer resources. The forced return is valued at over €3,000, compared to over 500 for a migrant who decides to voluntarily return. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.